The price of beauty can be hefty, but your health and your safety should be worth way more. From butt injections to Botox, whatever your plastic surgery, consult the professionals before you take matters into your own hands. Dr. Nia Banks from the Bose Arts Institute of Plastic Surgery joins us this morning. Good morning to you, first morning, of all. Pat. Second of all, it seems like that's not something I should have to say to mm. people. Don't try it at mm. home. But, <laughs> but we do. We have to say it. What do you see? Unfortunately, we have to say it. We've seen disasters, and it's so sad because these are people who are healthy people mm -hmm. and usually beautiful women, beautiful men who are trying to get things a little bit, just a little bit better, a little bit more of an edge, and they've made a bad decision about how to go about it. So plastic surgery, that's not the problem. It's when right. you try to take it on at home. What are Absolutely. some of the kinds of procedures people I think that they yeah. can do at home? Well, the problem is, right, not that it's plastic surgery, but the problem is the the way it's injected, which mm -hmm. usually means who's injecting it, okay, and so also the materials, that they're, okay. that's usually what we're talking about. Those are the things that seem easy to do on your own. And everything looks simple until there's a problem. Right. And the problem is who's injecting it, the experience of the injector, and also the materials that are being used. We've done stories where, you know, people trying to get larger yeah. behinds, yeah. They're, they're injecting fix a flat yeah. or... Some, I mean, mm -hmm. things that you just still think. being done, still common, and we take care of some of those patients. I work with a local wound center, and we take care of some of those patients in the wound center. So now you've gone from a pretty girl mm -hmm. with a nice butt to someone who is a pretty girl who now has a chronic medical condition and a chronic wound. The things that are being injected, like fix a flat and free silicone, these are not materials that plastic surgeons use. Okay. There are only certain materials that are FDA approved for injection into the human body, and free silicone is not one of them. For people trying to get the Botox look, what are mm -hmm. they injecting? Because, uh, you know, still, something you should leave to the professionals, yeah. but what is it that they're using? Well, Botox, mm -hmm. there are things that you can buy online that are not necessarily FDA approved. Um, Botox <laughs> is a toxin, and okay. we use it, and we use it judiciously, and we use it safely. But it's a toxin. If you don't put it in the right area, it's not a smart toxin. It'll paralyze whatever muscle you put it close to. Okay. If you don't put it in the right area, then you're going to have a problem. One of the most common things that can happen with Botox injections, even in the hands of the most experienced provider can be that the eyelid drops that you can't see mm -hmm. out of your eye and that's very easy to do if you don't understand the anatomy of the face. It's just uh, again crazy that you have to say that but like you said you all are seeing this more. We see it more and is, more. Is it is it young people doing is it at all ages it's that are doing young it? young people. Okay. You know because young people they may not have the the finances to have cosmetic surgery with a plastic surgeon. Young people are very impressionable and sometimes they don't make the best decision. But it's like anything else in life if you if you can't afford it then you don't need to have it. Right. It is a luxury item and we would love for you to have it. We want you to do it safely. Your health is most important. It, because yeah you're going to cost yourself a lot Absolutely. more medical bills if you in do it yourself. If not your your health Absolutely. and your life. So all right, Dr. Banks, <laughs> good luck Thanks to you for, for the people me. you're seeing. All right, well, if you want to learn more about this and how not to do and what not to do at home, just go to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash morning.